this. So I am doing a vegan activist response video to someone by the name of Trent Hunt, who seems to be a bit of a uh, Facebook celebrity by making pranks and so forth. Cool, whatever. And he's done a very angry response to veganism and activism. Um, I watched this last night. And I don't remember everything he said, so I'm going to play it and do my response. So it'll be pretty raw. I haven't overthought my responses to this, so let's go. Here we go. One you haven't had for a long fucking time. It's been a long time since I've done a rant, and I'm fucking doing it. I've been trying to bite my tongue and stay away from the rest, but this one has to come out. I am sick to fucking death of vegan fucking activist fuckwits, all right? The problem with... This isn't with all vegans. All vegetarians. The problem is with the minority that feels like it's their fucking right to go out of their way to force fucking feed this bullshit information that... Hey, and I'm saying, you can care about this. I'm If you if you like being a vegan, if you like that, hey, fucking props to you, respect to you. When you I appreciate that he's trying to be respectful to all vegans. He's not trying to stereotype all vegans. But saying bullshit information, what, mate... Trent, what's what bull, what bullshit information? What information that vegans and activists are sharing that's bullshit? What about it is bullshit? Everything we share is based on hard facts. This isn't some religion, some cult. This is all based on facts, not beliefs, not choices. Facts. You take it upon yourself to fucking jam that shit down our fucking throats. I enjoy fucking eating meat, right? When you're going. We're jamming shit down your throats. Mate, maybe some people have gone loud and put in real vocal megaphone and stuff like whatever happened in Melbourne. But you're literally paying someone to jam a knife into an animal's throat. You're jamming your beliefs upon that innocent animal that doesn't deserve to die. Restaurants fucking protesting in steakhouses saying animals are fucking have rights. Animals have this. Animals aren't food. They're fucking nature. Shut the fuck up, you dumb cunt. I don't give two flying fucks about your opinion. And I, if I did, I'd fucking... What's the opinion about thinking that animals' lives matter? Why would you not care about that opinion? The problem here, ladies, is we don't go to your salad fucking farms and start throwing meat patties around the fucking joint. You know why? Because we just mind our own fucking business... You don't go throwing meat patties around salad bars because salad bars aren't killing up to 70 billion land animals and 2 trillion marine creatures every single year purely for profit and satisfaction of people's tastes and habits. Your own fucking thing. You, for some stupid fucked out reason, take it upon yourself to think you need to change the fucking world, right? People will... We're taking it upon ourselves to make the world a better place for animals and all beings together. Imagine if somebody had this response when black slavery was legal and someone was like, oh, you're taking it upon yourself to help black people and change the world. Um, somebody's got to change the world to make it a better place. Somebody's got to stand up for the victims that are being ignored every single day. How do we change that? We change it by getting up and doing something about it. To, the, to time, right? If people choose to become vegan, they will. And don't fucking act like people need to be fucking... I'm not talking about cunts that are, that are going out and spreading research. I'm talking about cunts that are literally walking into steakhouses with megaphones saying, fucking animals this, fucking animals that. The day you stop animals eating other fucking animals, I'll still tell you to get fucked and I'm not going to become a vegan. But... The day you can stop other animals from eating other fucking animals, you simple fucking idiots, is the day that you might have something on your fucking side. These animals are fucking farmed to be eaten, you dumb motherfucker. These animals are farmed to be eaten, so because they've been brought up in captivity with no say in what happens in their life that makes it okay, so if someone brought you up in a prison cell, it would be alright for them to do whatever they want with you, because you were brought up to be a sex slave, or a slave, or a piece of meat to be killed at the end of the day. That makes it alright. Even though they've got alternatives, they've got their own charm to find love, or their own way of making a living, or their own way of finding alternative forms of food, but it doesn't matter because you were brought up in captivity, you were 
were brought up in a prison cell, that makes it alright for them to force their beliefs, their desires, their wants on you because you were born in that situation. That's not right. And anyone watching that with a logical mind will know that that's wrong. And just because you're not a non-human animal, that doesn't make it right. Because you're more intelligent than someone, that makes it okay to force your beliefs and lifestyle upon that innocent being that didn't get a chance, that didn't deserve it. Right? Animals are born in captivity. They can't fight back. They can't run away. Their babies are still taken away from them. None of that is right. And you might say a big fuck you to me, but at least I'm not killing innocent animals to pleasure my taste buds. And you say that, you know, and I do appreciate that you respect people who share logical facts, but 260 million plus animals are being killed every single day. 3,000, 6,000, 9,000 animals just died. Another 3,000 that never got a chance. They had their babies taken away from them. They had their parents taken away from them. And they were killed just because people think they taste good. How's that right? So that's why activists have to stand up and do something about it every single day in every way, shape, and form and make sure that this message is being heard loud and clear. Veganism, activism is not going to be silent. It is not quietening down for people like you that get upset over someone making you reconsider your food choices. This world needs to be vegan now, not later. Now, not later. Because in 10 years, that's hundreds and hundreds of trillions of beings that have been slaughtered for your taste buds. How is that right? How is that fair? In a progressive world where we can do so much better, why should we respect your belief, your choice, your right, when your choice has a victim. Ours doesn't have a victim. Our choice to get up there and speak up and be the voice for the victims that aren't being heard every day is saving lives. We just want people to stop hurting innocent animals. How's that a joke and how's that something to go swearing at a big rant about when we're trying to make the world a better place? What are you doing about it? <laughs>